Today we are covering the proper steps to coupling truck and trailer. First step is to make sure that your truck and trailer are in line. The second step in coupling is to make sure that your fifth wheel locking handle is in the out and lock position. Third step to proper coupling is to make sure there's no kingpin lock on your kingpin. The fourth step to proper coupling is to back your truck and the first set of tandems under the front of the apron of the trailer. Once you're there, you make sure that you look here that your apron is not going to overshoot your fifth wheel. Now that we have backed the truck under the trailer and heard the jaws click, we should do two forward tugs to make sure that it did the locking jaws wrapped around the shank of the kingpin. In order to do that, we have to take the flashlight, go under there and shine up in there at the fifth wheel and make sure that the jaws are locked. And the jaws are locked. Our next step to coupling is attaching our air lines and electrical line. But before we do, we need to make sure that our gland hand seals are soft to the touch, free of oil, grease, or dirt, as well as check the male pins on the trailer and the female pins on the electrical connection. As we stated before, we're going to check our gland hand seals that are soft, free of oil, grease, or dirt both seals, then we will attach them and lock them in place. Your blue is your supply, your red is your emergency. Once that's done, you take your female, check the pin, make sure there's no corrosion, check your male pins, making sure there's no missing male pins. Attach, lock, tug. Once that's done, you want to make sure your air lines and electrical lines are not, not touching the truck or the trailer. And the coupling process is to raise your landing gear. Be sure you put on fire gloves because it could be dirt or grease on this handle. So unlock your handle and proceed to raise it up. Low, if you push your handle all the way in, that's low gear. If you pull it out, that is high gear. And you start cranking it up. Raise it up. Once it up, lock the handle, done. Today we're going to start the proper steps to uncoupling our truck from the trailer. First step is to lower your landing gear till it touches the ground, then stop and lock your handle in place. Our next step to uncoupling the truck from the trailer is to disconnect our glad hands as well as our electrical lines. Emergency line first, 
which is your red, electrical, and supply. Once you get them out, attach them to your truck and sock holders. And again, they're unhooked. Our next step is to release the fifth wheel by pulling the handle out till it locks in place. Pull the truck forward about six to eight inches. Stop your truck, release your airbags, or lower your airbags, and then you can pull out from under without any damage to the fifth wheel or your landing gear. Okay, out there we have uncoupled from the trailer. Our airbags are down. Now we're going to get back into the truck and raise our airbags up and then go hook to another trailer. And raise our bags. That there, ladies and gentlemen, completes our proper steps to coupling and uncoupling.